Hey guys, Luke Tribline here, Fitness Evolution. Just wanted to do a short video on the energy systems used in sports and how you can train for them. I'm not going to go too in depth on anything. I just want to give the nuts and bolts on how you can utilize your energy systems to train specifically for your sport. So real quick, I'll go over the three systems. You have your phosphagen system, which is a short, high intense uh, system where you're basically only working from zero to 10 seconds. Uh, your second system would be your glycolytic system, which would be a moderate to high intensity uh, system where you're utilizing probably 10 to 30, I'm sorry, three minutes uh, in duration, which would lead into your aerobic system, which is going to be basically anything over three minutes that's continuous. Um, to utilize these systems, I'll use wrestling as a reference because I'm a wrestler and I train and coach a lot of wrestlers. So to, to train for your phosphagen system, you're going to do, let's say you're utilizing sprints for your phosphagen system. You would do a 0 to 10 second sprint, we'll just say you did a 10 second sprint, then you're going to do a 1 to 1 or 1 to 2 ratio of your rest time, which means if you did a 10 second sprint, you're going to do a 10 second rest. So it will be 10 on, 10 off, 10 on, 10 off. Depending on how long, up to 10 seconds, you could go up to a 20 second rest. So if you did a 10 second sprint, you could take a 20 second rest. Anywhere between 10 and 20 seconds would utilize a one to one or one to two uh, rest. So to go on to the glycolytic system, if you're training that specific system, uh, that's 10, to 10 seconds to three minutes, which has a one to three to one to five ratio. So let's say you're doing 30 seconds of burpees. So you could take up to 90 second uh, break up, up, to, oh, sorry, all the way up to a, a 150 second break because you're util utilizing the, the glycogen system, so the rest periods are a little bit different. So, again, you could do 30 seconds on the burpees or a 30 second run or 30 second split jumps, whatever you're training, but then utilize the break time to get the to, to make sure you're training that specific energy system. And that would go on to your aerobic system which, again, utilizes in wrestling, you do utilize your aerobic system, especially in college, the first period is three minutes, and you're doing a three-minute or longer um, training period, so that would utilize the one-to-one -one or one-to-three ratio. So let's say you did a, a three-minute three minute, uh, run, you would utilize either a three-minute break all the way up to a nine-minute break, depending on your conditioning or how long you want to run, but as long as you're utilizing that break time correctly, you're still working your aerobic system. And for, for, for wrestling, you're going to use all three systems. So it's, it's important you train all three systems accordingly, which around wrestling, you know, phosphogen, glycogen, and aerobic are roughly, you know, probably between 30 and 35 percent for each one of them, depending on your type of wrestling. So it's important you train all three, as opposed to maybe a cross-country runner, which is very aerobic and very little on the phosphogen and glycogen, where you do more long-distance stuff, which you would still work the other two systems, you just won't work them as much. You would just train specific to your sport. So it's, it's important you understand the energy systems and how they work and how you could train specifically to make your energy systems better and in turn make you a better athlete in your sport. So I hope this video, again, was pretty basic, but I wanted to just get some information out there so you could start training yourself or go to my website and check out my online program design where I, I sell specifically made programs to you for your sport or a fitness enthusiast just looking to get in better shape, whatever you're looking for, but I, I designed the program specifically for you and your goals. So again, just want to get that out there. Always do your studying, do some research, find out more about your sport, how you can be better. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.